This episode of Techzilla is brought to you by Domain.com. There's a rash of gaming PC builds going on. I've got a new GPU and motherboard. We built a gaming PC for our buddy Nick on Die Trying, and he taught us some great tricks for getting the best parts at the best prices. Now, SourceFed nerds Meg Turney joins us after her first PC build to talk about the top five things you should know before you build your first PC. I gotta say, one, welcome to Techzilla. Thank you. Two, I personally related to the comment, the tweet you made where you're basically like, I'm setting up the cameras to capture the maximum tiers. Oh yeah, I mean, absolutely. I mean, I left in stills of me just like bent over the rig with my glasses on my face, just so frustrated. Well, it's so funny, like, technically this is like the, the fifth tip on the list, but it's, it's everybody's like, well, it's just like putting together Legos. Everybody says expensive Legos, and I wanna hit all those people in the face, it is so much <laughs> harder than expensive Legos. Uh, and it's kind of funny, like, the first, when we did Nick's, like, the first three times, because we were trying to get the perfect, you know, camera angle on putting the processor in, and the first three times I got it in perfect, and the fourth time it slipped and bent like three of the pins. Oh, so there's a picture no. of me with a spudger in a magnifying glass, like bending three pins. This is not likely to happen to you, but understand, you know, yeah, you do need to like, you know, you're gonna have to put the memory in, and it's gonna click on one side and then the other side, or maybe it only clicks on one side and you're gonna have to figure it out, and it's not gonna click if you don't align the slot on the right way. And by the way, there's a little tab at the bottom of the PCI Express GPU that you have to undo to pull it out if you put it in the wrong <laughs> slot because it doesn't actually fit around the power supply. It sure, Oh, all Legos. that stuff happened and more. <laughs> and putting on the processor, it says in like, Big bold print. Do not force because on my motherboard you have to pull up a, right. a, like a lever, and then it's like when you put the lever back down, it should go down super easily. But Lie. being a lady, <laughs> I'm like, this is hard for me. Would this be hard for a dude? I don't yes. know. Is it too hard? And then I'm like, uh, fiddling, bringing it back up, putting it back down. It was it, it, a heart attack. It feels like you're pressing too hard on it a hundred and fifty dollar processor. I know. On a three hundred dollar processor, it really feels too hard. On a thousand dollar processor, you're like. I know, I just, I literally just like closed my eyes when I squeezed it down. And you know, of course you used a static strap for your entire build. <laughs> I didn't! No. I didn't! And it was, it was raised on a platform, but it was, my whole apartment is carpet. And so everyone was like, oh, you built it on carpet. I'm like, it's all on a rubber platform. I, I tried. I know people who literally test PC parts for a living and do it in static filled environments and are engineers and the most anal retentive people on the planet, but even they don't use static straps. I, here's the thing, I knew that I could touch the side of the PC case. Mm -hmm. That's why I heard that. Beep. So I thought at least I was doing that, but yeah. it was not enough for the interwebs. Well, if you're walking across the room and the cat is suddenly flying to you from static electricity, <laughs> then it might be time to think about a strap. Um, you made a really good point. Figure out what you actually need. Do you really need to overclock? Do you need an aftermarket heat sink? How much RAM do you need? Because a lot of people are like, well, you're going to need to overclock because that's going to give you 100% more or less. And you need this like $7,000 water cooling system because you're overclocking. Most of that's actually either leftover information from 10 years ago or people who are way out on the edge trying to pursue mayhem. It's true. Um, actually, I didn't choose water cooling mm -hmm. because I thought water was the last thing I needed to add to my PC as, build as for right now. Somebody who bolted a car radiator on the side of a computer, I completely agree. <laughs> Air coolers are actually amazing these days. I have an aftermarket heat sink, mm -hmm. and I opened it, and was it, you had to like build the casing for it, and it was this whole thing. Right. So I thought for now, not using it, totally okay, and everything's been fine. I've been monitoring my internal temperatures. Right. Everything's fine. Nothing exploded. The aftermarket one will be a little quieter. It'll run yeah. your processor a little cooler. Yeah. And you probably won't notice either while you're exactly. gaming. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't noticed anything while I'm running around Azeroth. I don't care if my fan's a little bit loud. How much RAM did you end up with? Uh, 16 gigs. Ooh, I got fancy. 8 gigs. And, and You also edit video, like constantly. Well, I actually, the funny thing is, I won't be editing video on this for a while. You might want to. Because I'm so used to Final Cut. You should get Premiere and throw it on that I machine know. with that processor and the memory. Especially because this takes like 5 hours to process video, and I'm like, Come to Premiere, come to the dark side, it will change your life. I need to, I need to do it. I actually made that mistake, um, I got eight gigs of RAM mm -hmm. in one stick. And then everyone was like, what are you, you have to have one, the more than one stick. And so then I already had eight gigs and I was like, well let's just get one to match. Cool. So, 16 gigs. That's actually a really cool accident to have. Not going to help much for gaming, but you need to get Premiere. Uh, Premiere will I'm change down. your life. I'm totally down. So, overclocking GPU actually will affect games more, overclocking CPU not so much. Your budget. Do you, I like the like, this gets expensive fast. <laughs> I, everyone was like, it's so cheap to build a PC. But then I went with like the enthusiast tower on mm -hmm. logical increments, and I was like, I'm gonna buy this and that and this, and now I'm like 2200 in the hole, so <laughs> it's an expensive rig. It's, but it, you know, it, it, it everything looks nice. Everything looks nice. It's got red lights on it, which I love. It runs super fast. I'm playing with my mom, and wow, and everything looks real pretty, so whatever. I mean, I, I paid for it, and I made a video out of it, and 
It's happy and I'll love it forever. Oh, <laughs> tell you, Premier. Um, do your homework for the actual building process. We kind of talked yes. about this before. What, what was, I mean, outside of the processor, what was the most kind of painful part of building it? Because for me, it's always getting like the little cables, like after I put everything on the motherboard and before I put the motherboard in the case, or after I put the motherboard in the case, getting the stupid power button clips on the motherboard pins. You know what's funny is it was actually, um, when you first pull out the case, it has this metal backing for all of your ports. Mm -hmm. And the metal backing cut me, because it's really sharp. <laughs> So be careful <laughs> with the metal backing of that. And then my motherboard didn't want to sit flush with that metal backing, mm -hmm. and I probably spent 20 minutes being like, come on, come on, come on. And and then I put, I stupidly got frustrated. Get frustrated and make bad decisions. Um, I, I, took I don't my, know anything about exactly. that. Exactly. <laughs> I took a little screwdriver and tried to force one of my ports down, and it made <gasps> a click noise. But then everything works fine. So that's I was like, if the speakers don't work, it's because I forced it into the mic. But, but that's also, I mean, that's a good thing, right? Because if you're doing this, and even if you, it's even if you've done it before, like every five years, it seems like half the things inside the case have changed. Either the interface or the connection. It needs more power. It needs less power. Cable routing always, like I suck. I'm the worst cable router. People it's make It's really fun of hard. Me. Actually, the hardest part was this particular motherboard. It doesn't have any FireWire cables, but uh, there's a big warning on it. It's like eh, never ever connect a USB USB port to a FireWire port on a motherboard, you'll fry everything. And so we're looking, we're scouring the motherboard to be like, where, because they have the same pin missing mm -hmm. in the order. And we're like, how do you tell if it's USB or FireWire? And then we like, I finally Googled it and it's like, this motherboard has no FireWire. And I'm like, why would you tell us? We spent 30 minutes looking around <laughs> this motherboard. It was horrible. They, I think they're laughing. I think somebody was like, meh, idiots, like, while they typed it in the That's little bit. So annoying. It was horrible. <laughs> so it's running? Yes. It's runs fantastic. like a dream. Yeah. If, if you started like spending all the money on Steam games? Uh, well, I play World of Warcraft with my family. My whole family plays. <laughs> so you need a four K monitor for World of I Warcraft. I know, right? Now. I got I got two twenty four inch monitors, but um, it, it only runs on one. So oh. I'm running it on one. It's fine. Uh, World of Warcraft, uh, I'm seventh guest in eleventh hour on special mm -hmm. on Steam, so cool. got those papers please was the first game I played on it. Oh wow. <laughs> Really went high tech for it. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to be like, you know, we, we need to we need to we need to get you some more complicated games oh, come on. to make your GPU scream and howl. Where can folks go to see your time lapse build? The time lapse build right now is on youtubecom turney. You mm -hmm. can also check it out on twittercom turney. And uh, what's coming up on SourceFed Nerd this week? Anything we talk about, or is it all secret? Oh, it's always secret. No, we always <laughs> have scheduled shows. We're seeing new movies. Uh, we're doing apps, and we have top tens all the time. So it's always just a smorgasbord of nerdy goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Meg Turney, thank, thank you so much. Thank you. If you haven't yet, you should really try out Domain.com, one-stop shopping for all of your domain names and web hosting needs. These guys are awesome. Domain.com simple search quickly shows you available domain names and web hosting options, making it easy to select the domain extension and hosting plan that's right for you. An easy checkout smooths the process, erases the hassle, and keeps you from saying, huh, how does this thing work? The guys at Domain.com are hooking you up. At checkout, use the coupon code TECHZILLA for 20% off your purchase. That's T-E-K-Z-I. I L L A for 20% off at domain.com. That's an amazing offer, and we'd like to thank domain.com for their support of Techzilla.